Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Would You Rather? Today, we're joined by Jay DeRay. He's a fucking awesome dude, so if you don't know about him, definitely go and check him out by the end of this video. Now, without doing too much of a lengthy intro, let's just get straight into it. We already did the first one. We already did the first one. Yes. Um, but now the question is, how many people would pick... Which one do you think would be the more popular um, one? Depends on what kind of people or what kind of movie... <laughs> people have been seeing, but I think it Personally, would be... Personally, I think it'd be the guillotine. Yes, me too, me too. Alright. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. right. It's obviously the guillotine. <laughs> Fucking majority. Right, so so the, way we're, the way we're doing this, I guess, is we, we're each gonna have like, maybe three or five lives, right? Yes. And then we're gonna... We're gonna... explain our reasonings for why we'd want to be something. And if it's a stupid reason, we lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, and who is the judge of what is stupid or not? It's just what the other person? We both are. We're both okay. the judges. Okay, so you have to be so self-critical. if I say something, if I say something that, they, that I think is really stupid, I just be like, that's stupid, I lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just fucking shoot yourself right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so, would you rather be a genius in a world of unintelligent people or be unintelligent in a world of geniuses? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I actually think I would be unintelligent in a world of genius because if you were a genius in a world of unintelligent people, you would just be sitting there thinking like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, you, <laughs> you would literally sit there and be depressed of how stupid everyone else is. Yeah, but here's the thing. If you're a genius, you could literally figure out everything and then be praised worldwide and praised... You know, like just praise as like a god, right? In real time, but then so every that's the thing. It's <laughs> so so basically, it's... you would you would want your day to be like every, every single day, twenty four seven. Some fucking knob as like dude comes up to you and asks you what's two plus two. Well, it doesn't say how unintelligent these people are. It just as unintelligent <laughs> people, it doesn't specify how genius they are either. It could be per definition. Well, exactly it's yeah. the same thing for you. Yeah, <laughs> be exactly. unintelligent world of I, I could be a normal person in a world of genius <laughs> people that could cure cancer, right? I would, I would much rather have a lot of fucking geniuses than have none. Right, one that is. Okay, yeah, I see yeah. your reason. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, that was, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. They're both good reasons. They're both good reasons, but but obviously, we all know what the answer would be here. <laughs> it would right. be that one. Because, it, because it would be that one, obviously. I, I, you know... The reason for that one popping up as the majority is because people are fucking selfish as fuck. Like, exactly. That's just exactly. what it comes down to. God damn exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Would you rather chug a pint of salt water or chug a pint of ran ran rancid milk? It's like really bad milk, I'm guessing. Right, right. <sighs> oh, God. Chug a pint of ocean salt water. I mean, here's the thing if you chug your salt water, your chances of like dehydrating are pretty high. Yes. But if you chug bad milk, the chances of having diarrhea are pretty high. <laughs> right, right. But, and, and, you know, diarrhea is also dehydration, you know, to yeah. some extent. But now, no, no so, before going way too much into this, right, the salt <laughs> in the salt water will be absorbed by your body, like, almost instantaneously. Whereas the milk, you could just fucking puke it up once again. It doesn't say you can't just fucking throw it up. They're both really bad choices. Right, yeah, they're really bad, both of them. Oh, they're I can... both really bad choices. It's like, just think of it, like molten, lovely, clumpy milk coming down your... Oh, oh no, God, yeah. no, okay. Oh, but so I would... gross, no. I, uh, no, 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 no. I would still take the fucking milk. I would take this... Really, why? Why would you take the milk? Because, because I'm... I'll just do it, you know? Just do it! You know, <laughs> and then just throw it up afterwards. Just well, yeah. I would take the salt water because one, salt is natural. Okay. Yes. Brine milk is pretty gross. I'm not gonna lie, it's really yes. gross. I've had it before. It's uh, no, just no. I'm just sitting there fucking clinching, man. Ugh. At least, at least with salt water, 
Yes, you'll be dehydrated for a little bit, but you can always yeah. hydrate yourself afterwards. Yes, you can. And and also be thinking about all the the whale sperm you've been swallowing. Well, <laughs> that's also natural. <laughs> well, yeah. You said it wasn't protein. <laughs> oh, God. Right, right, yeah. I, I see your point with the salt water, but I don't know. I just think I would be more deceased with the, the salt water than... Than the rancid. Well, milk. salt is a natural. It's also like a natural filtering filter kind of thing. It is, you know that, right? Salt, but, breaks, but you salt can, breaks down a lot of stuff. But you can also filter out too much. You can also be too clean. You could kill the good bacteria in your body. That's true. However, I'd rather drink the salt water yeah, because yeah. it wouldn't taste nearly as bad as the milk. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Right. So, I, uh, so I think we've decided on that. Yes, I'm, I'm still sitting there cringing over the fact of the red <laughs> soup. Uh. All right, so we're both at what? We're both at what, like four lives now? Yes. All right, cool. So which one now the question is, which one do you think is the more popular well, one? I would think the salt water because it, it, it's... That's what I would think It too. seems like yeah. it, that's the most natural or neutral kind of thing. Yeah, I... I just, I just can't. I just can't drink bad milk, especially because no. I'm lactose uh, intolerant. So it's oh bad god, to begin with. right, right. Well, then again, <laughs> then if you drank the fucking milk, you would basically die, man. I'd be, I'd be in a lot of pain for a lot <laughs> right. for a while. Oh, frick, this is one I always hate the question of: live forever or until the end of the universe, or mm -hmm. die right now with no afterlife. Oh, live forever or until the end of the universe. Actually, I would pick live forever until the end of the universe. Right. You know why? At least you die at some point. Yes. Now, I, I mean, would do the if, same. Yeah, I mean, if it said, here's the thing, I, I got a question one time, I said, would you rather live forever? Like, yes. forever, infinitely? and Or die right now? And I picked die right now, because I wouldn't want to live forever. That's just, no, I just well, wouldn't want to do that. I don't know. I, I, would, I, I, I think I had the same question on, on my uh, channel. Uh, fucking shout out to my own channel. GG. <laughs> now, so, um, now, I actually picked <laughs> that I wanted to live forever for this the, the sole reason of... Yes, you live forever. You get you get to see everyone die off and all of that. But at a certain point, it just becomes natural. Like yes, we all <laughs> fucking got sad about like you know our granny You're dying. Right, but but a don't soldier. Don't you think it'd be pretty? Don't, don't you think it'd be pretty shitty to like watch the person you married or watch your mother and father or watch your brothers and sisters or and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren just die off? Right. It'd obviously. Be really sad. I mean. Yeah, obviously. Right, but, but of course, I, of course, yes, you would get used to it, but it's like, still pretty shitty. Like, also, another thing is like, let's say like, let's say something happened where your body was like smashed or something. You'd still be living. You wouldn't die. No. Or if you got shot in the head or something, you would be still be living. You wouldn't die. Yeah, I, I, of course, there's, there's certain things that might happen, but now, obviously, all of these things is is by your own definition and your own, like, morals and all of that, and your own experiences and all of that, you know, things. And personally, in my life, I've never got injured, therefore, I don't really see myself getting injured down the line. Obviously, the longer you live, the higher of, of a chance of actually getting injured there is. But now, as I also, like, trying to, uh, like, say it was... A military dude killing his first, you know, Taliban or whatever might also have felt like, oh shit. But you know, 20 down the line, he's more like, well, okay, it's my job kind of thing. It's just, right. just what it is. And that's what I've been saying. I'm thinking with like, yes, you would, you would fucking sit there and drown yourself in tears when your wife or parents or some, some you know, whatever it may be, your pet deceased. But... At some point, you'll just get over it. It'll just be like, okay, it's it's just a new one. And obviously, at some point, you will also just lose your, how can I say, your your contact to the human feelings in general because you, you don't see a point in them because right, you, you will just, lose people anyway. Forever. Yeah, we both have really good reasonings here, so yeah. I don't think any of us are going to lose. They're going to lose a point for that. I mean, you yeah. really, really, you really can't do anything there. So no. I mean, I think this is kind of like one of those one of those questions where it's a draw. It, it is. Now the, question, now, now, the real question is, which one do you think is more popular? I think that's try. Oh, oh, that's no. I think that's the live forever because of, as you also mentioned, the uh, until the universe. Yes, yes. it's like I, I'm okay with that. If, or until yeah. the universe ends, like that, yeah. that, that's fine. I would, I would also say right. if if that was what I could choose for the other one as well, I would have chosen that. This is a fun one. Would you rather be a wizard or be the king of England? <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty simple one. 
Well, actually, depends. Are right. Okay. Okay. I have a, more wizards. I have the perfect answer for that because I can't be a wizard. I've already had sex. Sorry to fucking say. <laughs> so I'll be king of England. <laughs> yeah. Is that how it works, really? No, I, I, I can't remember the exact thing, but it, they say like if you if you go up to a certain age without having sex, then you become a wizard. It's <laughs> it's fucking weird, but yeah. That's 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 I, why I thought that was just called a really old virgin. Right, same shit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's the thing: is does wizard wizard mean like magic stuff, or right. does it mean like person who hasn't had sex? That's that's, that's my question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It could be both. If it if it means magic stuff, and no well, sex, we'll, we'll, just assume, we'll just assume it means magic. Okay. Right, and no sex. Right, right. Okay, so <laughs> I don't care about that part. I just want the magic part of it. Right, right. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I feel like having the ability to use magic at your will, at your own will, would be really awesome. I don't, I don't yeah. know. I feel like the King of England is just so generic. I mean, cool, you're the King of England. Awesome. Right, yeah, exactly. Is there, is there even is there even a King of England? Like, no, it's, it's queen only Queen. Prince. It's only, yeah. As far as yeah, I, oh, I thought. We're, we're gonna piss off a lot of fucking British people now. <laughs> Jesus. And they just left the EU as well, so yeah, sorry. My bad! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so no obviously, <laughs> obviously my my statement for for you know being the king of England was you know because of that you know funny joke about it. But if if that joke aside, I would also choose the wizard because you know you you could also use your wizardry or your spells and and all of these abilities you have for the greater good to help exactly. people. Exactly. Um, exactly. So obviously, if if we have to take everything aside, I would also choose the wizard like any day. Yeah, because I was thinking about it, I was like, wait a second, King of England? That's just like, yeah, congrats, you have a fucking crown on your head sitting on a throne all day. <laughs> yeah, great, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> yeah. being, being the king of anything is stupid, I mean, yeah, unless you're is. king of like something actually important. Oh, well, I mean, being king, of, being you know, king of, a, of a place is pretty important, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. like being a king of like something you actually work with. Well, technically, we're a king of our own YouTube channels, right? There you go, exactly. Yeah. But we do stuff. We, yeah. we don't just sit around all day. We yeah, do exactly. Stuff. We, do, we do stuff. Um, all right, also so sitting around all day. <laughs> another question is, which one's more popular? Yeah. Is that even a question right now? Are you serious? Is no. that even? No. I mean, uh, obviously, that, nah. that's the easy question. Yes. <laughs> uh, 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 well, okay. <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess the... These are these are equally as bad. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, they are. What I mean, which one? Which one would you even pick for this? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, would I okay. Be a male with female okay, parts. Okay, so now putting everything into a fucking joke and just making a laugh at everything once again, <laughs> right? I would be a male with fucking female features and body parts because then I could just be streaming, and no matter what quality it is, I would still be making bank. True story. I was actually thinking the same exact thing. Yes. It's it's sad but true. I mean, if you really think about it, this is just like transgender stuff. Yeah, it is, and and that's actually kind of the good thing about it is that both of them are pretty neutral. It's basically just what you want to be. It's like, do you want exactly. to be a male or do you want to be a female with fucking periods? There's no right or wrong answer here. Which one do you think would be the more popular? I personally think Oof. that the male would be the more popular one. Yes, but that's only because males are so perverts and they want to see fucking female body parts all the, all all the right, time. You do know if this is wrong, we can both lose point, right? Right. Okay, let's <laughs> see. Okay, it's not wrong. Cool. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a cyborg or be an animal-human fusion thing? So like a werewolf, pretty much. Right, right, yeah. Cyborg sounds cool, but... Hmm. EMP comes along, fries your systems. I'd much rather be the animal-human. Yeah, I actually think I would as well. Um, now, funny thing is, like, if you think about it, right? If you if you go to war as a cyborg, right? Yes. And then all of a sudden, the EMP hits. You're gonna fry your system. Like your yeah, system you're fried. Fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. You're done. But, but the animal thing, like the animal human thing. I have to say, it's pretty cool, because you could literally just like run around as a, like, pretend to be a wolf running around. Right. And nobody would bother you. Now, the thing I'm thinking is... Is it like some kind of fusion where you choose if you want to be human in one moment and then an animal in another moment? 
Or is it yes, like, I don't know. Just I mean, I would assume that fusion fusion means you're both at the same time. Right, so a hybrid kind of so, thing. But like, you could be like a squid human or something. <laughs> a squid human. <laughs> yes! All right, so since <sighs> since we both agree on this, yeah. for a point, we have to decide which one you think would be the more popular. Oh. And honestly, I don't know. Considering, oh, that's really fucking tough because people really like technology nowadays, but there is a fuck ton of people that likes animal as well. I think the cyborg is going to be the chosen one. I think the animal is going to be the one. But I, I right, believe in technology. I believe in. Oh damn it! Fuck All yeah! Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I have to say, yeah, it's pretty close. It's really close. It was really close. I was really on the right, tipping right. point as well. Would you rather stand on red hot burning coals for 30 seconds without moving, or shut your hand in a waffle iron for two minutes? Okay, well the easy oh. answer here is the hot coals. Yes. <laughs> waffle oh, irons? Geez. No thank you, I'll definitely not do that. No seriously, but when you think about it like long term, right? Um, your feet, yes they have, you know, sensations and all of that, like, and, and you Calluses. would burn the skin and all of that shit, right? And, and you would lose the feeling and all of that, like, um, the touch and all of that of your feet. But your hand is so much more important. And if you fucking yeah. fry your hand, you can't use it. Like, two minutes exactly. in a waffle iron is a fucking long time. Just just try and count to ten. And imagine that pain and heat. No, no just, thank you. And that's just fucking Here's ten. The thing, I, I closed my hand in a toaster once and it was not fun. <laughs> oh god, why? Why? It was, it was like, it was accidental. It was like two seconds, right? Right. I pulled out, my whole hand was red. It was just sick. Yeah. Brutal. Exactly. So, the thing about standing on hot coals is that your feet naturally have calluses. Yes. So, you automatically won't feel it for as long. No, it, it would be to a certain point. I think, like, after two or three seconds, you'd begin to feel it pretty fucking intensely. Um, but... Yeah. But the waffle iron thing is much worse. I yes. Alright, so, we obviously know what the answer is here. Yeah. Or at least. Obviously. Think, yeah. that, that's a give me question. Yes. Two minutes is a long time. If it was, like, you know, a minute or something in a night... No, even, not even that. Not even. Not even. I, I still wouldn't pick it. Your hand is more important. Yes. <laughs> Fuck All right, me. next. Would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? Uh... Well, being the last human left on Earth isn't as bad as it sounds. No, no. Well, you know, depends on how... I mean, except for the fact that you'd be lonely. Right, well, you all... You know... But that's about it. <laughs> then, then again, you would have your hands, right? <laughs> and you would have the entire fucking surface of the Earth to be your throne, your... Your place, your place, yeah. your your castle, your everything. So if you're a good farmer, that would be great. Like for me personally, I would say I would most likely struggle a bit in the start. But like, you know, human beings always learn the best in in dire situations where they really have to. Um, Not at all. I agree. So I would say yes, being the left. I, human I would say be the last human left on Earth also because there's just so much stuff that you can do at the same yeah. time. And and also it doesn't specify there's no animals. So right, like you can just go hunting or something. Or right, exactly. Can, you can go driving on a highway at like two hundred miles an hour. Yeah, well, you, you you can just come to Germany. You can do the same shit there. There's no limits in the, <laughs> on the highway. Seriously, there is, or at least one part of it. The like one. Yeah, exactly. All right. So obviously, this one's definitely yes. Gotta oh, be, you know, close. It's close. Close. One. close. But obviously, that one was it. Okay. Would you rather erase Canada off the map or erase New Jersey off the map? <laughs> so offend people or offend people? Which one do you want to do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so let's put it like this. You know how people that's really quiet and all of that, sometimes when you really piss them off, they're like a new times one billion? Yeah. Yeah, now I'm, I'm kind of imagining Canada being that. Now, whereas New Jersey, we don't have like, you know, Jersey Shore kind of thing. I don't know if it's, it's the same thing, but... Okay. Now, I'm going to say this honestly, because right. I can say this honestly, because I've been to New Jersey plenty of times. Okay. New Jersey is a shithole. <laughs> it's, okay. it's, honestly, it's honestly not a nice state at all. Like, right. It, there's there's parts of it that are nice, but most of it, the majority of it is very industrial. Yeah. So, personally, I would rather erase a state than a country. Yes, exactly. That's, Canada, that's the other Canada thing. is our closest ally. So, <laughs> that, that, that as well. And, and also, like, and this is just 
you know, me being, you know, me, like, I like the cold, and Canada is more Nordic than fucking New Jersey yeah. is, so fuck New yeah, Jersey. Exactly. As long, look, as long as everyone gets out, okay. That's yes. all that matters. Exactly. Also, I feel bad for the Canadians because they'd have to come to America and deal with Donald Trump. Oh, fuck. Or Hillary Clinton. Yes. Either oh. one of them. <laughs> yeah, so fuck New Jersey. Let's let's spare the, 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 the poor old Canadians. Okay, for now for a point, which one do you think is the right answer? I think New Jersey's going to be the right answer, personally. Yes, because there's too many Americans playing this, and they don't want to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> We're too fucking good for this! I Jesus. don't know, it's just, this is, these are easy questions. Yeah. Shrink to one inch or grow to three stories. Well, what? if you grow to three stories, you're your dead. bones are going to be so brittle to where you step and they're just going to break. Well, that as well, but also your heart can't fucking pump your blood around, and therefore your brain right. is like fucking... Your heart will have to pump it like 100 beats per minute. No, no, yeah. like 100 beats per millisecond. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But then again, if you're one inch, you would basically... You can't do shit. You'd basically be Stuart Little if you ever saw that movie. Well, I mean, if, if you think about Ant-Man... Yeah. If you When you shrink, right, right? You still have the same power that a regular size human has. Right. Which doesn't make so, sense. But yes. Which, no, it, it doesn't make sense. You're right. But <laughs> if you think about it... Yeah. It's the way that it works, because logic and physics work that way for some reason. I don't know why or how, but they do. Nah, me neither. So, personally, I'd rather pick the one inch, because I don't want to die two days later after I grow three stories. <laughs> right, exactly. Same, same thing here. Same thing. But now the question is, which one do you think would be the correct answer? I, I think the growth to three, th three stories would be the best answer, because no, obviously actually, people want to play basketball. <laughs> but three fucking stories, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I I would say shrink. I would say shrink. A lot of Americans play this game. Yeah, I know. I know, man. All right. A lot of so, them play baseball as well. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, so you lost the life. Got it. Well, I had to, awesome. to okay, lose cool. one at, at one point, right? So what are we at? Why don't we just drop it down into like two more? <laughs> right. Because this is gonna take a while. Yes. Fight Voldemort or fight Freddy Krueger? Oh Jesus, that's a tough one. Right, so if if I'm not mistaken, Freddy Krueger is the one that shows up in your dreams, right? Yeah, he's the right. one that kills you in your now, dreams. Now, I have... I can't remember the last time I dreamt. So I would fight Freddy Krueger just for the sole purpose of not fighting him at all because I don't fucking remember my dreams. See, I dream pretty often, so I yeah. get pretty frightening. Yes. But fighting Voldemort is like an instant death, pretty much. But same thing with Freddy Krueger. So, I don't know, it's... It's kind, it's kind of tough. Well, it kind of comes back to, do you want to be sliced and diced, or do you want to be turned into a chicken? You know? At least you're still alive if you're a chicken. Well, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't say you would die in the fight. It doesn't say, it just says you'd fight them. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> be sliced this and diced or chicken. I actually don't... I actually oh. don't even know which one would be the right answer. I, I think Voldemort would be the right answer. Yes, I think so as well, because Freddy Krueger is like the, scaring the living fuck out of people, whereas Voldemort yeah. is part of a bigger... Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm glad you yeah. picked that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Never eat pizza again, another, never drink another soda. Okay, look. I've eaten pizza so much over this past year that I'm so sick of it. Also, the place around me is so expensive for pizza that right. I honestly could give up pizza. I don't give a crap. But which one of these... That's a good question, because I fucking love pizza, and I'm one of those persons that could drink water for eternity and not be tired of it. Uh, but then hmm, again, that's because in Denmark, the, in Denmark, water is really fucking clean, like extremely clean. Yeah, in America, uh, our water is not very clean in no. a lot of places. So. so I would say never drink soda. That's my personal. And I would say never. I, I would... Honestly, I think the never drink soda is right because people love pizza. So yes. I'm gonna go with that one as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I figured. I figured as much because I would actually say surprisingly, pizza. the never eat pizza again is surprisingly fucking high. High. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jesus. Crazy. If you had a machete, would you rather amputate the feet of two friends or amputate one of your own feet? Okay. Funny story about this. When I was younger, um, I crushed my foot completely. Crushed oh. every single bone. And um, it wasn't a fun time. I no. actually almost got amputated. Right. But at oh. the same time, I don't want to be—I don't want to be an asshole who has to amputate who his friends' feet unless I have to. <laughs> it's just like, oh, <laughs> hey, what's up, Steve? <laughs> what the fuck? Why'd you cut my foot off? But now the the 
big question is, if I had a machete, why would I even fucking think about cutting off my feet? <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> why? But then again, I, I, I think I would, again, with the, with the same thing as you said, like, I don't want to cause more harm to other people. Like, right. why? But unfortunately, the answer is going to be amputate your feet of two friends because people are selfish. Yes, but I would also choose to, to amputate my own. So I would, I would, I would if, sacrifice. If I was in that situation, I would sacrifice yeah. a life in our little game here for just increasing the percentage of people that would amputate their own feet. Like seriously. Okay. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's surprisingly high though. Yeah, that's that's always something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Except man. for the fact that we, we all know the answer to that one was going to be defeated two friends because people yes. are selfish. Yes. If you had one knife, what would you spread first? Would you rather peanut butter first or jelly first? <laughs> Damn it, my weakness! <laughs> now, see, for me, it's fucking easy because in Denmark, we don't eat that shit. Like, that's. Well, yes, we, we, we have the option to do it, but it's not like a thing, you know? Um, but if I if I had to think about it, I would say do the jelly first because that's less sticky than the peanut butter. Yeah, but the jelly is more like a gel. So the yeah. thing is, the peanut butter is like like butter, it's like legit butter or like right. whipped cream or something, right? Now, so whipped cream, cream cheese, I mean. So yes. like you could easily just scoop it out with the knife and spread it across, but the jelly you have to like actually put on and then spread it out on top of it. Yes, and that would be a So personally Well why the hell would you use wouldn't you use both knives for both of the things? Well yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh so it's, only, it's, it's only one knife. Oh, I see. But but now the, oh. if if I had to think about this is that when you do a peanut butter jelly Sandwich. sandwich. That's two yeah. fucking pieces of bread, so you just fucking smear it over one each. Done. It doesn't matter. It's just like, one bread is jelly, the other one is peanut butter, and... Done. Alright, you got you got me beat there, you got me beat. Alright, yeah. you got me beat. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting anything better than that, there's no doubt. Yeah. Now the question here is, peanut butter first or jelly first, which one's more popular? I think the peanut butter is going to be more. Yes, popular. I would. F I would think that is the one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, again, as right, you so said, both... it it makes sense because it's more dense, so you can actually right. smear the, right. the jelly on it. I'm freaking hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was all the time I have for this part of Would You Rather. As mentioned in the start of the video, if you haven't seen anything about Jay DeRay. Definitely go and check out his channel, which is linked down in the description down below. So yeah, send him my regards whenever you go to his channel. <laughs> anyway, as usual, if you like this video, smack that like button, share it with your friends, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.